I have a TK Enter window open here and we can see two buttons. This top button, the OK button, has an image next to it. It has an image of a check mark. The interesting thing is that image is embedded within the Python script itself, which means if I were to send this script to someone else to run on a different computer, I won't have to send two files. I won't have to send the image file separately. That image is embedded within that Python script. So I only have to send the Python script. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to embed images into a Python script. Hi, my name is Jobin and I'm an open source developer. My channel is called Jobin Pi and it's all about Python and Linux. Welcome to Jobin Pi. The advantage of this is when you're ready to distribute your application to someone else, um, you don't have to include the images separately as PNG files or JPG files or, or any other type. You can actually embed those images within your Python scripts um, so that all you would have to do is send your Python scripts and then the images will be in them. I'll, I'll show you what I mean and I'll also show you how to do this. So I have some code here. So I have an OK button here that I'm creating. I have an exit button that I'm creating and we're packing the two buttons on the screen. So if I run this application right now, this is what we'll see, an OK button and an exit button with no icons whatsoever. The icons that I would like to include with those two buttons are these two images here. I have an exit image and an OK image, and they're basically just PNG files. You know, if I, if I zoom right in, we can see a check mark here. So they're basically just PNG files. So the first thing I have to do is I have to take those two PNG files and convert them to a base 64 string. And I'll show you how to do that. In a different Python file, I'm going to import base 64. Then I'm gonna say from pathlib import path with a capital P. Then I'm gonna write image path equal path. And I'm gonna pass in the path to one of the images that I would like to use, which in my case, I'm gonna use ok.png and the full path is that. And then slash ok.png. Okay, so now this will be turned into a path object. And from here, we can load that image as bytes and then convert those bytes into a base64 format. So now we need to load that image as bytes. So we'll say image underscore bytes equal image path dot read bytes. Okay, so this variable will have the bytes representation of that image. And then we're gonna now convert it into a base64 string. So b64 string equal base64 b64 encode. And we're gonna pass in those bytes. So image underscore bytes. Then I'm going to print b64 string. And let's see what that gives us. Okay, so down here in the console, we can see the base64 format of that image. It's actually a bytes variable, but all we need is the string portion of it. So we basically just need this up to here. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy that. And I'm just gonna show you what it looks like on one line. It looks like that. So this long line that you see is the image as a string. So we're gonna load that image from this string. And this is the base 64 string. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete that. So we're not gonna use that base 64 string here. We're gonna use it in our actual 
TK enter application here. So here I'm going to create a class. I'm going to call it icons. Then I'm going to put OK image equal. And then I'm going to paste that long string in there. And that R is basically a, a raw string so that if there's any escape characters, uh, they'll get included as part of a normal character. Okay, so now we have an OK image, which is that long string, which is the base64 string. So how do we use that string as an image for this button? So the next part here, I'm going to put image or IMG underscore OK equal TK dot photo image. And here I'm going to pass data equal icons dot OK underscore image like that. So now this is an actual image and we passed in the base 64 string using data equal icons dot OK image, which is from up here. And this is an actual TK photo image now. Okay, so here I'm gonna, for the, for the actual button, I'm gonna put in image equal IMG underscore OK, like that. Okay, let's run it and see what we get. There we go. So we have the actual image loaded. The text is gone, so let's bring the text back. So to do that, I'm gonna put in compound equal TK dot left. So this basically means put the image to the left and keep the text to the right. Okay, if I run this again, we get the expected results. Okay, let's do the same thing with the exit button. So we can see the example again. So I'm just gonna go back into here and the name of the image is called exit.png. It's in the same folder. So here, I'm gonna change it to exit.png and the rest of the code will be the same. I'm gonna run it and I'm gonna copy that code that I don't need the B portion of it because that's the, the bytes section of it. And just copy the, the text and let's go into here. And now I'm gonna call this exit image equal and then that. And here I'm gonna put IMG exit equal TK dot photo image data equal icons dot exit image. And here for the exit button, I'm gonna put compound equal TK dot left. So it puts the image to the left and the text on the right. And I'm gonna pass in the actual image itself, IMG underscore exit. Let's just run that. And there we go. So now we have two images here that are not being read externally. And those two images are embedded within this Python script. So it'll make it a lot easier to distribute because then you won't have to include those images as separate files. So this is a good idea for small images like this, you know, like icons, toolbar icons, uh, button icons, you know, things like that. The downside with a base64 format like this is that the file size will be bigger when it's in a base64 format. Um, it's not that much bigger for small images like this. Let me show you an example. So if we go back into this folder, I created this test file just for this tutorial, and I'll show you what I mean. So if I open up this test file, and drag it over here. It's basically the base64 string of the OK button or the OK image. So the OK image is 917 bytes. The base64 format of the OK image is 1.2 kilobytes. So it's not that much bigger, but it is bigger. But you can imagine that if you had a large image, you know, a few megabytes, um, the, the, the base 64 version of it would be bigger. And, that, and it would be a very, very big string to, to paste into a Python script. So 
I like to use this technique for small images, like for toolbars and buttons and things like that. Uh, but I, I wouldn't use this technique for, for big images. I hope you found this useful.